It always takes me a while to get over the fact that I'm friggin' filming myself. I wonder if that will ever go away. <laughs> Trivia bitches! Welcome back to my channel everybody. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. It really would help me out and I would appreciate it so much. So today we are going to look at one of one of the more underrated Soviets from the late 80s, early 90s, and that would be Miss Satyana Groshkova. I absolutely love her. She was trained by infamous coach Elvira Sadi, who was a Soviet gymnast back in the 70s. And I think now she's in Canada, but in the 80s she was training girls in the Soviet Union, one of which was Tatiana Groshkova. I first learned about Groshkova from my favorite old VHS tape that I've referenced before, Gymnastics Greatest Stars, hosted by Bart and Kathy for ABC's Wild World of Sports. Interestingly enough, they didn't feature many famous gymnasts like Bicharova or Yurchenka or Mastapanova, <laughs> but they did feature Tatiana Groshkova so yeah we're gonna look at Tanya's beam routine from the 1990 USA versus the USSR meet I actually haven't watched this routine in a while so I am excited to look like it's gonna be an actual reaction y'all <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, the video quality isn't the best. A lot of these routines haven't been refurbished, remastered, <laughs> redone. Unfortunately, if I knew how, I would do it all. It truly is a vision to have these older routines from the 80s and 90s in higher quality. Ugh, it just makes your insides want to scream with happiness and delight. I don't know what it is, but yeah. I like her leotard. <laughs> it actually reminds me of something that the Canadians used to wear. Right off, she's going to show off her flexibility and this handstand. And she was an amazing trickster. Look at the sleep series here. <laughs> and she has a very lithe quality that I like. <laughs> Back handspring, full twist. <laughs> Terrific. She just makes me want to... I don't know. I just love her style. It's beautiful. Skill. I like how she moves. I like her panache, her style. Gain her layout, step out. Now watch this. Back handspring sideways. Amazing. Then into a Yurchenka loop. Just in case you don't I do not like this camera angle. <laughs> Full turn. The toe point is terrific. Just that. That. Oh, that's like Boginskaya did that in one of her floor routines. Two back handstrings to a full in. Pretty good landing. Oh, that was a treat. And because it says on this video that she got a 995, I'm going to trust and believe that she got a 995, which was well-deserved. This is why I love the Soviets. Even their second-tier gymnasts had so much charisma, style, uniqueness, innovation. Just terrific. I believe Groshkova competed at the 1990 Europeans. But other than that, she didn't make any major Soviet teams. And you can see she had all sorts of cool skills, that sideways back handspring. It's such an incredible, cool skill. I'll probably react to her floor routine as well, which was also just amazing. She had a great routine to this flamenco music that I just love. This routine, chef's kiss, terrific, splendid. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Please smash that like button if you like my content. Please subscribe and turn on notifications if you'd like to see when I post new content, like I actually did yesterday for Gabby Hanna because I'm all about her new Storytime series coming out. 
Just as an aside, I'm so fascinated with human psychology and personality disorders, and Gabby Hanna, she's like the personification of that for me, so I really can't look away from her. As she's like a human car crash or something. Please subscribe to me if you would like to be notified when I post new content. What a like, subscribe. Oh, and I'll see everybody in my next one. Bonjourne, take care. Bye.